Shepard. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. I've got time. Take it at your own pace. Thank you. I fear I've already done that for too long. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolgat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. All right, you spawned. Organic species tend to do that. Is that all you wanted to talk about? There have been complications. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. Just give it to me straight. I'm not interested in your philosophical BS. He has gone to the Citadel and has gained a job as a hitman. I could discover no more. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. existed when I was here ten years ago. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. We better hurry, then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. I also didn't tell him what you do for a living. Do you normally discuss assassinations with the police? I take your point. Thank you, Shepard. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You, Mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. We need you to answer some questions. The people I work for... Look, I can't answer questions for just anybody. But you can for me. You gave another drill instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. This is the people I work for. We don't have time for this. Oh, oh God. Dane, help me. Help me, Mouse. My son is out there. In the dark. That's why I cared for him. I thought you'd want me to. Please. Explain. He came in, said he was looking for work. He had a hollow of me, the, the one you took, Krios. I put the word out. Use your old contacts. Elias wanted to hire him. Elias Kellum.
Tell me about Kel. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up in the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. You just saved yourself a world of pain, kid. Yeah, right. When Kellum finds out what I've done, I won't live long. And I can't do anything about it but hide. Krios, you got any kindness for me? Put a bullet in Kellum before you go. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Cole yet ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Cole yet. Now said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm, smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him, that anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. You abandoned your son. We're here to deal with it. This isn't the time to brood. You're right. At times, I envy the imperfect memory of humans. Let's head back. Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Oh, shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. You want to accept bribes? Fine. I don't care how you run your precinct. I want to know if you're going to help me. Yeah, I'll help. Absolutely. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI sent to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? Convince him that we'll put a bullet in his head if he doesn't talk. Once he's scared, he'll cooperate. Very well. I'll pretend we're ready to kill him. We can't push too hard, though. We need the information more than we need a corpse. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? You ordered a hit on someone. You're gonna tell me who. The only person I'm talking to is my advocate. Here's how it works. I ask a question, you answer the question. You speak when you're spoken to. Who the fuck you think you are, you Mr. Keller, I don't believe you were paying attention. Nice. You just handed me your job. Hit me again and I'll take your money too. I'm gonna straighten you out. As soon as Bailey gets here. Bailey isn't here. We are. You're dealing with us, got it? What are you, fraud boy? His little apologist? Hit me again, asshole. Every bunch is another credit. Works for me. No! Do you know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell.
Ease up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. Joram! Joram Talit. Dorian in the 800 blocks. He's unconscious. No need to wake him up, I think. I'm not shedding any tears. Not over the likes of him. I'd hope to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Pure results come from pure methods. I worry about what is yet to come. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? My name's Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Prove it. I don't have to prove anything. Spectres are above the law. We clear? Crystal. Good. Now, fortunately, I'm not after you. You contracted an assassin. Who's the target? Joram Talid. Torian. He's running for office. Lives in the 800 blocks. Thanks. You won't see us again. No offense, but you're a problem below my pay grade. That may go down in history as the shortest interrogation ever. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? You haven't heard what the aliens have been saying? They think the Council died because our fleet refused to save them. That we stacked the new Council with humans and yes-men. Gudina doesn't take any crap from them, but that seems to make it worse. They act like we're jackbooted thugs enforcing a coup. I don't give a damn what Joram's politics are. This is about Thane's son, not him. You might not care, but the people who live here do. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. Amon Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. It's been wonderful talking with you. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Time for this. Whatever you want. CSEC. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. All of you, back off! I'll kill him! No, you won't. 
Oh my god. Hostages only work when your enemy cares if they live. Interesting solution. He was a racist and a criminal. Isn't that enough? To some, I suppose. I read your files. Isn't that what you do? Kill people who do bad things? Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father and I have killed a lot of people. You have it. There's no reason you should start. I read his files. What made it all right for him to kill all those years? I was six when the Hanar began to train me. I didn't know any better. Your mother woke me from my battle sleep. Then why did you leave her? Why weren't you there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... Older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Colyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Colyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're not trying to arrest all of us. The kid obviously hadn't committed a crime in his life. Not so sure about the father, though. I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. They've been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Someone like that is trouble you don't want to deal with. Someone's got to deal with it. Doesn't have to be me, though. How to go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. That kid goes through the system. We both know he's there for the rest of his life. Those guys were a waste of skin. Scales. Whatever. If you've got another suggestion, I'm listening. Give him a job. He can work off his debt to society, and you can keep an eye on him. It sounds like more work for me, and I can't just deputize him into CSEC. You have to go through channels. I didn't say have him work for CSEC. I said have him work for you. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Thank you. Have a few minutes to talk. Very well. I am... I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. As a rule, I'm not fond of surprises. I didn't think it would be relevant. I expected to die without speaking to Kolyat again. I knew he'd blame me for Erika's death. That memory I mentioned before. Laser time trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on spring wind. Lisa, eyes defiant in scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles. Not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually she forgave me. Later, 
She loved me. When you talked to Cole yet, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. You're a smart man, Thane. You didn't take precautions? I did. I should have done more. I knew my family was vulnerable. I accepted my death when I was twelve. Nothing could make me accept theirs. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. I don't blame you. They killed innocents to get to you. For you and me, death is business. For people like them, it is sport. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. You're talking to your son again. That's huge. Don't lose sight of that by dwelling on shoulda bits. You are correct, of course. You've given me much to meditate on. <laughs>